The female hoopoo now leaves the nest on a daily basis for a short break to defecate. She moves to her favourite spot and grooms herself thoroughly. Now the female also makes short trips from time to time. A thunderstorm is building and soon it starts to rain. The female leaves the nesting site. When the male arrives with food, he remains on the branch and calls to his mate. When she doesn't show up, shortly he goes to the nest without feeding the chicks. Because the male continues to catch only a few big prey on which to feed his mate, the female must leave the nest in search of small prey for her recently hatched nestlings. When finally the female returns, the male hesitates and goes back to the nest while the female waits on the branch. The female is in her own turn somewhat confused. The male positions himself not far from the female. Finally, she moves towards him and accepts the food, which she takes directly to the chicks. This may indicate that only the female feeds the chicks during the first few days. Feeding continues despite the rain and the female stays in the nest. About 10 minutes later, the male returns with food, but stays on the branch and calls softly.
The male goes to the nest for a short moment and returns with the food still in his beak. Again, no luck. The next day the sun shines again and a European Western Hermann's tortoise passes by. In the walnut tree a nightingale is still singing. The male brings food to the female who feeds the chicks. The female hoopoe leaves the nest and sits on the branch when suddenly the unpaired male arrives but she chases him away. The female flies off to join the male in the task of feeding the chicks. From now on, the male feeds the chicks as well. Both parents have a full day's work feeding the chicks from dawn to dusk. The hoopoe has a characteristic undulating flight. The golden oriole returns every spring for nesting and sings melodiously. Although the male has a striking yellow plumage, it remains very secretive and hard to spot. Because the nest site is quickly clogged with droppings and food fragments, the female cleans it from time to time, throwing waste away from the nest.
a male red-backed shrike on a perch on the lookout for insects. The hoopoe male also cleans himself regularly to keep his feathers in good condition. Feeding happens very quickly. Both parents fly in and out of the nest. A little more housekeeping is done. Offspring of hoopoos have no fecal sac. Offspring of the bootit do have a fecal sac and these are removed from the nest by the parents on their way out. After some days, the unpaired male is back at the nesting location with food. It hesitates, looks around, and gets chased away by the male. When the female returns, she inspects the surroundings for a moment before feeding the chicks. The female now utters harsh, rasping calls when approaching or leaving the nest. Apparently the chicks are about to fledge, and the calls are perhaps an encouragement. The European green woodpecker frequents the same habitat. In the 
next episode, the chicks have fledged, but one chick remains on the branch in the walnut tree, close to the nest, and is fed alternately by both parents.